Hey everyone, this is Kokon from WP Bravo. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to recover a hijacked website. This is one of my website that is hijacked by a hacker. I have seen this website was working well yesterday, but now I'm getting this error. Now let's see how to recover this website. To recover this website, I have to access my WordPress admin, but maybe I can't access. Yes, I can't access my backend and I can't access my frontend. So I have to log in my files. To log in my files, I have two options. I have to go to cPanel or I can access my files using FTP. As I have cPanel access, so I can recover my website from here. If you don't have this cPanel access, then you can log in using FTP. Go to cPanel, then find my website. This is my website. So here I have to find malicious file. First of all, I will look into it and find those file that is not a WordPress file. I believe this is not a WordPress file. If I edit this file, you will see this code here. This is not WordPress file. So I will delete this file. I'll permanently delete this file. Like this, I will find others file. This is not also a WordPress file. So I'll delete this file also admin ajax.psp robots active uh, block header corn includes.zip file. This is my whole file. Let's delete this. Load, login, mail, settings, sign up, trackback, and all these are WordPress file. Let's refresh our website. It's not loading yet. We usually work in WP content folder. This is why we can't delete this folder, but we can delete these two folder. So let's delete these two folder. To delete these two folder, first of all, select these two folder, then delete from here. We deleted two folder from here. Now I will upload this two folder here. To upload this two folder, I'm going to download WordPress. To download WordPress, visit wordpress.org slash l-a-t-e-s-t dot z-i-p then wordpress latest version will download here i already download this wordpress file and extract here now i will select admin and enclose this two folder as i want to upload this two folder then send it to compress zip i will upload this backup.zip folder to this directory to upload this folder click to uploads then select file then select this backup.zip file then click to open file is uploaded this is our file now let's extract this file i'm extracting this file to this root folder file is extracted now uh, my website should work well let's see if it is working yes my website is recovered but there might have hackers file though. My website is recovered after uploading this WP admin and WP includes folder. Now let's uh, delete this backup folder. Now my website is recovered. Now I have to check others file as well. I'll check this folder one by one. I have there uh, six update. Let's update themes first. Now let's see other updates. All these are plugins. Update is done successfully. Now let's go to plugin and see if there are any malicious plugin or unknown plugin. I will uh, deactivate this plugin and delete this. I don't need this anymore. Add insider, Akismat, Elementor, Elementor Pros, Lightspeed, Cache, Rank Math, Thumbnail, uh, Regenerator. Save as VZ, SiteKit, SmartCore, all these are my non plugin. Unlimited blocks, Updraft, Workfence Security, Optimist, and all these are my non plugin. So I don't have anything to delete here. Now let's see our themes if there are any malicious themes. Uh, as you can see, there is a malicious theme that is theme name and style sheet is missing. If we log into our cpanel then go to themes we will see this folder here this is a hacker folder if we view this edit this file then you will see 
this code here all these are hacker files now let's delete this folder to delete this folder uh, after selecting click to delete and confirm now empty view trash these are our trash folder then select all those and empty i will keep plugins and themes i will delete other plugins like this 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 let's delete those let's delete this folder too as this folder is old this is also old folder this is also old folder i'll delete those two i don't need this folder and this file also and this file also but keep in mind before deleting any file don't forget to take a backup if you don't know how to take a manual backup i have a video tutorial on my youtube channel i will add that video link to this video description please check that i don't need this file also what is inside this file uh, let's see what is inside this file why this file is here so i will delete this file now let's see if uh, my website is working well front end is working well and after refreshing uh, i will see there has no any malicious plugin now let's see if there is a post there has no any hacker post if there has any page by hacker and everything is fine i think everything is fine so this is how we can restore our hacked website now i will uh, scan my whole website with wordpress if you don't know where to find this security tool click to plugins then add new plugins then search here as is a URITY. then install this wordpress security plugin after installing this plugin you will see this menu here now scan our whole website as we can see there is a lots of malicious file but we remove our wp include folder now let's see which file is affected by hacker scanning has done after scanning we will see there are some files those are critical like this this is a file uh, located in wp content plugins then save as vz options if you click this file we will see this code added here let's click here to view this file all these are hacker code so i will delete this file okay let's delete this file this file is deleted but sometimes you will see this file is modified index.php file is modified if you click here and we will see file here this file has modified let's see what's happened here we can click here to view difference let's see original file is this one but hacker added this code here so we can repair this file if we click to repair then file will be originally like this let's click repair and don't show this again repair file like this i will repair this file also and this two file is created by hacker you can see this was created outside of wordpress so i will delete user also and i will delete files okay fine now there is no issue after that we will visit our users and we will see if there is other administrator here everything is looking great here so i can tell the website is safe now so friends this is how we can recover any website from hacker everything is working fine if you don't know how to recover which file to delete then you can contact me i must try to solve your problem hope to see you in next wp bravo tutorial till then take care